Before we begin adding our customers, let's take a look around the system to get a, a, an orientation for it. First, in the left-hand navigation, you're going to notice a bunch of tabs. Each of these tabs may have one or more additional sub-tabs. Uh, we'll start with the Clients tab. You'll see under the Clients tab that there's a number of tabs across the top of the screen for each of the products. Cyber Protection, File Sing and Share, Cyber Infrastructure, Physical Data Shipping, and Notary. Go over to the Cyber Protection one. We're going to notice if we click on the top of any of the columns, we can sort and filter according to the needs that we have. You'll see we have a search functionality here at the top as well if we need to find a particular customer. When we click on a particular customer, you'll notice that there's an ellipse here. You click on that ellipse, it'll show you some additional options that you can do. If you click on the gray section in the middle of the bar, you're going to be able to pull up that customer and get to its configuration and be able to change the configuration for the customer. Under users, we'll have our list of administrators and end users. At this point, we're at the top level of the system. So this is our administrator right here. We can add other administrators as we go. We have our reports as well. Under reports, there are two types of reports. There are usage reports and operations reports. And then we have an audit log that will allow you to see all of the things that have happened in the system, depending on who the users were and which system settings they've changed. We also have a series of other settings, including our locations for our storage, branding items, an API, and then our security. We'll take a look at two-factor authentication here in a little bit. And we have our integration with third parties. We'll spend a lot of time looking at the different third-party integrations. Now at the very top, you'll also find an overview that will have all of your usage for your various products for all of your customers. And then an operations dashboard, which will give you a quick and simple view into all of the things that are going on in your system, including the ability to click into it and get deeper in the system. Right now, we're gonna focus in on the cyber protection tab. We're gonna go down to our demo customer. And now we'll see at the top of the screen that we have breadcrumbs that will let us know what level that of the system that we're in. In addition to the search functionality, you will also see we have the help button and our own individual profile where we can change our own settings, including our password. We will also have at the top of the system uh, area where we can add new users and new partners and customers. We'll take a look at that in the very next video.